Instagram is a popular platform for sharing videos and photos. It has about 34 million users in the UK, with the largest share of users under the age of 34. It's an app that allows you to upload media that can be edited with filters and organised by hashtags and geographical tagging. In the last couple of years, it has begun to pivot to video, introducing a new feature called Reels. So in this video, we'll be showing you how to get going with a username and a bio, using Linktree for any of your links, thinking about the use of hashtags and how to use them well, how to gain followers, and lastly, some top tips for outreach. So creating your username and bio is simple. Again, like with other platforms, obtain a similar username to your church's name and other social media accounts. For an example, for Trinity Methodist, create an Instagram username that's similar to your church's name, like at Trinity Methodist, or a variation, at Trinity Meth. Your bio on Instagram is a place where you introduce yourself to your followers and provide one main thing that you want to highlight. Bear in mind that you only have 150 characters to use in your bio description. So you'll need to tell people about your church and appeal enough that they will follow you and perhaps flag up one thing with them, such as come and join us or the Methodist presence in any town. You can't put links in posts on Instagram, but you can add a link tree in your bio and you will often see people write link in bio. So to do this, go to the link tree website and create an account. Here is the link tree for the Methodist Church, providing links to other social media sites and to our website. You can create your own multiple links and personalise them in a variety of designs, graphics and colours. Instagram uses hashtags to help users discover both photos and each other. They are a way to get involved in conversations. Instagram uses hashtags to see what's going on in their community with their friends and to keep up with the things that they like. It's helpful to add your location in a hashtag so that people get a sense of where you are. So imagine that your church has developed a new silent garden. You have a great photo of the space and your post might be, recharge your spiritual batteries in the beautiful new silent garden at West Hampton Methodist Church. The hashtags you might use for this post could be something like meditation, Gardens, West Hampton, Meditation Time, Mindfulness, Wellness, Bliss, Divine, Silence, Mystery. Instagram gives you 30 hashtags per post, but you might not use all of them. Users on Instagram have created trends through hashtags. So examples of popular trends include hashtag Selfie Sunday, in which users post a photo of their faces on Sundays. Hashtag Motivation Monday, in which users post motivational photos on Mondays. Or hashtag Transformational Tuesday. You could use any of these or indeed make up some yourself. Once you get going on Instagram, you should find that you start to get a following. This platform is really helpful in engaging with your community and with local businesses and organisations. Think about the places in your local community and see if they have an account. And if so, just start following them. Before long, they will follow you back. So a good way to gain followers is to just be good and consistent. Begin to follow other people and comment on their posts. And final tips for Instagram outreach. 
First of all, use lots of hashtags. Put your location when you post. Instagram can recommend posts based on your area. And try and build up a consistent style, even if the content is different. Instagram is primarily a positive place where we want to encourage and inspire those in our communities as well as others who might interact with us on the fringes. This should be a place that allows us to be creative and push some of the boundaries of what we post elsewhere, as the audiences are much more open to newer concepts and ideas. Remember that on Instagram, it's all about the image. You might want to check out our video on photography to get some ideas on how to take a good photo. And check out our video on Canva, as this may help you create video reels and teach you how to add text to photos and use graphics for your Instagram posts. Mm -hmm.